How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. G'day channel gang, welcome back. My name is Nick. Today we are gonna dive straight into the lesson, but just a reminder, we have an After Effects project file included with this lesson. You can get it in the description below. Let's get started. First, let's create a new comp. Let's make it 1920 by 1080, 24 frames a second, and around four seconds. We'll call it Text Master. Next, we're gonna design the wiggling text. We'll select our favorite font. The thicker and blockier, the better. Sans serif fonts work the best. Uh, those are the fonts without little feet. So let's name this text master. Let's make it all caps by pressing the double T icon in the character panel. Okay, we'll center the anchor point of the text by pressing Option, Command Home, or Control Alt Home, and then bring the text to the center of the screen by pressing Command Home or Control Home on the PC. Next, we'll duplicate our master text and place it underneath. Let's rename it Echo. Command D or Control D if you're looking for the shortcut. Let's twirl down on both of the text items until you see the source text for both of them. Let's parent the source text of Echo and make it follow the source text of Master by holding Alt or Option and pick whipping from the Echo text to the Master text. This way, if you update the text in the Master, the bottom text will be the same. It just saves you having to change multiple copies. Work smarter, not harder, am I right? Okay, we'll give the Echo text a little crazy movement. Rather than keyframing everything, we're gonna use our hacking skills and program it to move around like an angry bee. Let's press S to bring up the scale properties and press Alt or Option to click on the stopwatch. We'll add a wiggle expression. Wiggle, open bracket, 30, comma 30, close bracket. Let's press Enter to make sure the expression takes. Okay, we now have an angry looking piece of text behind our original text. Let's add a shift channel effect to the text. In the effect, turn the red channel on, but turn the rest of the channels off. Next, we're gonna press T to bring up the opacity of the echo text and change it to 20%. Now let's duplicate the echo text two more times and we'll change the channels on the duplicate channels to green and blue respectively. Yeah, who says respectively? Such a math term. By the way, have you heard about the hen that could count her own eggs? She was a mathema chicken. All right, let's parent all the elements to a null and add a slow scale on it. We'll keyframe the first frame and the last frame. And just to make things a little bit more dynamic, I'm gonna add a few random position keyframes at the beginning, just in the vertical position. So like the film gate didn't quite line up. Also, don't forget to turn on the motion blur as well. Sick. And finally, we'll add an extra null to the top of the comp and parent our null to it. Don't worry, this will make sense in just a second. And I almost forgot, we need to put in a crazy aggressive wiggle on the main null. Radical. Now let's turn this into a master template so we can use this effect multiple times by just changing a few master properties. Now let's go to the central graphics panel and look for our comp text master. If you're having trouble finding your central graphics panel, just go to workspace and click on essential graphics. Let's go down to our master text element and twirl down till we find our source text. Let's drag it into the essential graphics panel. Let's also drag the scale property for the top null. And that's it, you've created a master template. Now for the fun part. We're gonna head over to Envato Elements to grab a few stock elements. I was looking for some grungy moving elements, scribble elements, and some stock film grain. Found some really good ones here. I also found these really sick film burns that'll work nicely between the cuts. Now I could easily be burning through 40 to $80 a month on stock footage here alone. And for only $9 for your first month for unlimited stock, this is definitely a no brainer of an investment. Plus you don't just get access to stock videos, but to royalty free music, After Effects templates, photos, vector art, and heaps more. Plus, what's great is if you're not happy with the stock you just downloaded, just go back and have a look for something else. Check the link in the description if this is something you're interested in. All right, so I throw in a few of these scribbles and grungy elements and lay them on top of each other over a black background. Make sure you space it out so the elements aren't running the whole time. I kind of keep them popping in and out of the scene, maybe a few frames here and there just to kind of keep it interesting. I also add this eight millimeter film grain over the top of everything and set the transfer mode to screen. You could use overlay as a transfer mode, but I found that the eight millimeter one just works. Basically muck around with it to taste and see what you find feels good. And finally, I just find the brightest parts of the film burn and put it at the beginning and end of the cuts of my text. All right, we've got this block already set up. Let's duplicate the master template and move it next to the original. We'll also twirl down to the master properties and change the text. Now 
I'm going to repeat this process a few more times, add a bit more stock underneath, add a few more film burns on top. Here you can see why I added the additional scale property to the essential graphics panel as it allows me to scale the text dynamically if the text is getting too close to the edge of the comp and clipping. Again, it's making sure you have enough varied elements and using them sparingly. You notice I'm using small chunks of each clip and not long ones. Just hints of things popping in and out to really make the background feel more chaotic and organic. Next to get the colors coming through, we're going to apply an adjustment layer just below the text and apply a tint effect. Let's set the black to warm blue and the white to orange. The effect will remap anything black to warm blue and anything white to orange. Next, we'll move the scrubber to just after the first text element, highlight the adjustment layer and press Shift Command D or Shift Control D. Now let's select the next adjustment layer and remap the colors. This time we'll make it magenta and white. Let's do this one more time with the final text and make it black and red. And then we'll add some kick-ass music and bam, you get these wicked music video titles. All right, guys, that is the tutorial for today. Thanks for watching. And if you found this useful in any way, shape or form, please smash that like button and hit subscribe for lots of good things that are coming up on this channel. We've got a couple of comments here from some people who watch our videos. Christopher Smith has got a great one here. If you're on a Mac, use Option. Obviously on PC, use Alt. Pretty simple, pretty basic. My Korean friend here, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, but you're doing well, dude. I'm glad that you can kind of get the idea from just watching the videos in general. And of course, Sonia, um, look, you're right. I'm not 100% sure how you work some of the shortcuts without, uh, without the bigger keyboard, without the home. But if somebody else knows how to do it out there, please let me know. And if you guys are interested in more title design, there's a great video from Herman here about minimalist title design. It's a really great walkthrough on how to design minimalist titles in After Effects. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.